uh, Dr. Karen Miado, uh, who is an expert on the medical treatment of addiction. So um, you've heard what uh, the writers have said. So now please speak to us about um, how you see this problem, how you see it pre uh, presented on television, what's good, may what may not be good. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. I think um, the quandary we're in with prescription drug use, people use drugs to feel good and to feel better, but they use them because the doctor told me so. So never before have we had, except maybe the patent error of medicines, have we had a situation where people have a, we've intertwined the neurobiology of pain in addiction very well. Um, I had a woman who um, was an administrator at UCLA during this budget and hated her job and she kept getting foot surgery. She, she indeed had a foot disorder but she kept telling the, pediatrician, the podiatrist, I need another surgery even though the podiatrist would say low yield for less pain. It was only after she stopped using and got into recovery could she say, I forced the doctor to do surgery because I wanted more pain pills. It's amazing. I had another woman who told me, you're telling me I'm addicted and I've never gotten high. I have pain. You know, and we, when you tell your patients, I'm really sorry you're addicted and you never got high, that's pretty lousy. And the pills become a way to cope. You know, when I write a Vicodin prescription, if my patient says, oh, I have less, mis less, less misery, I'm really not suffering that much, you know, I go home, I feel great. If they came back to me and said, hi as a kite, I love that Vicodin, don't stop prescribing it. It would be easy for us to change what we do. But we, we honestly are trying to treat pain in about 12 to 7 minutes that we have to see each person. And so in that 12 to 7 minutes, it's, you know, are you, are you the one or are you, do you deserve it? Um, do you have real pain? And so many of the people we see have real pain, so we use real pain pills. But I had a woman who said, she's, she's frustrated with me, she said, you don't believe that I'm in pain, but look it, I was in the hospital twice over Christmas. And I said, well, I believe you're in pain. Your father just died in December. And she said, I can't be in pain. I hated the guy. <laughs> And, and it's, it's so stigmatized to be depressed and to grieve and to be in pain that these pills have become the answer. 